Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! It is finally time to add a second cat to our wildcat house in Elm Hill City Zoo, so today we'll build a habitat for the cougar! The cougar was added to Planet Zoo with uh, North America Animal Pack a while ago and I still didn't have a chance to add it to the zoo, so now it is finally time to do so. But before I'll talk more about that, let me just thank you guys for an amazing, amazing response under my last video from the zoo, I mean the snow leopard habitat, you guys loved it, and that makes me so, so happy because this habitat was a lot of work and also a lot of pressure because it sort of of set the tone for the uh, entire wild cat house so uh, yeah the fact that you guys like it and enjoy it so much makes me well like beyond happy uh, so uh, yeah thank you so much and in case you haven't seen that video you haven't seen the first uh, cat being added to this house definitely go and check it out I'll put the link down in the description and on the screen because in today's video we will sort of continue the work that we did last time as you guys can see I already like prepared a bit this habitat I mean I did the fences I did uh, the back wall uh, and also as you will see I started a bit the indoor part of the habitat uh, just because I showed you guys all of those things in my last video and I didn't feel like it was like worth repeating all of that uh, so in case you'd like to see how I did those fences or how I did this wall or anything else that I'm not showing here in my video just go and check the uh, snow leopard uh, habitat video and you will be able to see all of that in that video but the hero of today's video is the cougar and the cougar is such a cool animal I am I was so happy when it was added I mean we sort of were expecting this animal to be added at some point because it was very high of all on all the wish lists uh, that we do for this game and finally it was added what is interesting about the cougar is that uh, it is so widely spread across the two Americas that it can adapt to different kinds of biomes, different kinds of temperatures. Uh, they live on desert, they live in mountains, they live in forests and stuff like that. So, so this is really impressive and I actually found an information somewhere in the internet that this is the uh, most adaptable uh, of the large animals. I mean, none other of the big mammals is spread like that across the world across different climates of course uh, like things like flies or insects or stuff like that are also very like spread around the whole world but uh, this is a large animal that is able to adapt to those different climates and so on and this is so so interesting in my last video I actually told you guys that I will try to you know locate the cats in this uh, house by based by the biome so we'll be able to go from you know colder climates to uh, to warmer to more like uh, you know tropical and actually a cougar was a bit tricky for me because of uh, you know the different biomes and climates that they can live in but I decided to go for a, a colder climate to locate it in like a taiga biome or something uh, because it made more sense to me we don't have so many cats that prefer you know colder climates so this spot in the um, in this house was just perfect for it so I decided that our cougar will be uh, you know adapted to colder climates uh, and simply uh, will leave in this more like mountainy forest something like that as i also told you guys i will try to make each of those habitats a bit unique uh, so they are not like similar to each other they're not so boring of course they won't be like crazy different or anything but they will have like their own unique twist in all of them 
So we already had a snow leopard with this more like Himalayan inspired habitat and now we'll have a cougar and for a cougar I decided that I will do a waterfall because we haven't done a waterfall for quite a while uh, and to be honest this is like uh, embarrassing to admit but I have never used those uh, waterfalls from the aquatic pack. I don't know why. I always choose to use those uh, VFXs uh, but they are quite a lot of work to set them right and I decided that I will try to use this waterfall today and in the end I quite like it so I might use it more uh, in the future. So besides the waterfall I also wanted to uh, give this habitat a unique foliage and I created my own trees. Uh, I wanted to have like pines in there uh, to make it look like a typical taiga forest, uh, but I didn't quite like the trees that we had in game because I thought that they are way too large for a habitat like that. So that's why I decided to create my own and I love them. They are even climbable and you will be able to see them in a second. Those trees really help me because, to be honest, I had a bit of a creative block when it comes to this habitat. Uh, the unique thing for every habitat made me look like too hard on it. I was, you know, waiting and for like a, a spark in my mind to light. So I will try, I will find a perfect idea for this habitat, but uh, I was trying different things and none of them was, you know, looking good for me but then I came with up with those trees and I ultimately like clicked and knew what I have to do so we'll have uh, of course those two trees in here I also tried to add some other trees but then I figured that it doesn't look too good with those ones that I just created uh, so I decided to make them into those two focal points in this habitat of course, before I created this background, just as we did in the last episode in the snow leopard habitat, this will be like a continued thing throughout the entire house, I think, because I really love those walls. Uh, as I told you guys, they were inspired by one of the leaves creation. He did uh, this sort of, you know, wall from mm, this technique of using those uh, faux uh, aquatic rocks, and I loved it. And uh, that that's how I was able to come up with the wall. So thank you Leaf for inspiring me, you are literally the best. I also added two of those rock formations like in the middle of the habitat because I thought that those animals like to climb, like to lay uh, like uh, over the ground, above the ground. So I decided to give them that. Of course this is not uh, like functional, they won't be able to jump on them but in a real life I'm sure that they would appreciate something like that. I decided to use the tropical rocks in here because uh, for me they look really good with the pine trees. I don't know, there is something about that uh, that they just match with each other. Uh, so uh, it, they are a bit darker, which is cool because it makes the habitat looks uh, even like more different from the uh, from the snow leopard one. So this was my goal and thanks to those rocks it was easier to make them look a bit different. I will also add here uh, the dead trees that I did in the desert adventure park and I used last time for the snow leopards. I wanted to give the cougars something to climb on because they also love to climb uh, so they will have two of those dead trees in here. You can of course download those trees from the workshop. Uh, they are really useful uh, for big cuts from primates and stuff like that and I think that they look super cool in the enclosures. After I will add those trees, I will uh, do the waterfall. Uh, I will firstly try to cover those edges of the waterfall with uh, some rocks and then I will add tons of like pebbles and smaller rocks in between the two waterfalls because I couldn't add water in there. Uh, so I decided to add a lot of small rocks and add some uh, VF access, like the special effects of the water 
in between them so the water like looks like it is flowing between those rocks and in the end I love it I was able to achieve the thing that I wanted basically maybe the water is a bit too like uh, crazy to you know the flow of the water is too strong it looks a bit weird but uh, I'm not too mad at it I think that in the end this waterfall looks super super well and also you guys loved the viewing uh, window uh, in the last episode so I decided to do it here again so we have like this main viewing opportunity into the habitat from uh, behind uh, the mode but also the guests can go up to this window and look inside Inside the habitat and then here I thought that it would be cool so th that they will be looking like over this waterfall inside the uh, habitat and in the end I really like how it is looking also I added uh, like a artificial uh, thing to this waterfall the place where the water is flowing out of I'm not sure how it is called from in English sorry guys but uh, yeah the water is obviously automatically pumped up there uh, it floats out of this uh, you know sewer I'm not sure if it's called a sewer but you know what I'm talking about uh, and yeah then the water falls down this waterfall and is going back to the water uh, area and yeah this is just a idea that I had in my head and in the end I think that it looks quite nice and after being done with the waterfall, I will start to add uh, foliage to this habitat and then I will add tons and tons of small rocks as well. Uh, I wanted to keep this foliage in this like uh, foresty but like a uh, edge of the forest style if you know what I mean. So there will be a lot of grass but there will be also a lot of bushes and like saplings and stuff like that. And in the end I love this habitat. I love how it is looking like I am always super happy when at first I struggle I don't know what to do and you know I try to not I try not to give up because it was like really close for me to give up this time I just thought okay maybe I will try to try to build for another animal and I will go back to it but uh, when I struggle so much and then I am able to do something like that, I am so incredibly proud of me. Yeah, I am sometimes not a modest person. <laughs> but yeah, I am so proud of this habitat and how it has turned out because really I struggle with this so much. Okay, and while I am adding all of those stuff, let's finally talk about the new DLC for the Planet Zoo. This thing makes me so happy, you guys. Finally, a new DLC and such an unexpected one, such a good one and also really inspiring one. So yeah, I cannot wait for it to be released. The new DLC is obviously the Wetlands Animal Pack. I talked about it a bit more uh, and I shared with you guys my thoughts about it in my uh, announcement video uh, when I showed you the trailer and talked about the new animals that will be added so if you want to hear my thoughts about the new DLC you can go uh, and check out the video that I will put down in the description and on the screen right now but yeah we get eight new very exciting animals I'm not mad this time that this is actually only an animal pack that we don't get any construction items because we got amazing construction items last time in the Euro pack. Uh, so I am really really fine with it being an animal pack with such an astonishing like uh, selection of animals. Yeah, I love them all. I at first was a bit surprised. Maybe all besides one, let's be honest. But yeah, I was so surprised about it. Maybe besides the capybara because we sort of knew that it will be coming. But I was convinced that it will be the Amazon pack or a tropical pack or something like that. And I didn't expect the wetlands animal pack at all. So it was a huge surprise. But I think that it is a very, very very good surprise because 
Uh, what excites me the most is that this pack is so diverse. We get animals from all over the world. It is like a biome base, so it makes me really, really happy about the future of Planet Zoo because now they we see that they do uh, what they want basically with DLC. They don't stick to certain part of the world or something. They just went for a theme and uh, decided to add the animals that they sort of knew probably uh, we will like and yeah this selection is just wonderful and the one animal that I was talking about that I don't like is obviously the uh, spectacled caiman I think we have so many crocodilians already in the game that it was unnecessary I would probably uh, prefer to get like a lizard another one because we only have two them two mo monitors so uh, having a big like swimming aqua semi-aquatic lizard would be such a cool thing to have uh, or even you know another I don't know species of birds like a bigger bird we obviously get the crane which I just love and I am super excited for but for example imagine getting a pelican as well or uh, uh, like a stork or something but this would be so so much better than another crocodilian but besides that I am not uh, moaning or anything I love those animals I love the capybara the platypus is just amazing addition everyone wanted it and I already have so many ideas for a, a habitat for a platypus so for sure we will add it here to the zoo also I am really surprised about the anguillets and I love them both uh, the buffalo is beautiful and also uh, like a really common animal in Zeus so I am happy that it was added and then we have the Nile Lechwe I have always problems with pronouncing that way, but I think that the Lechwe or Rechwe uh, is the right pronunciation. Uh, and yeah, this animal is actually beautiful and I love ungulates. I told you guys so many times how I much I love them because I think that it is so realistic to have many of the ungulates in zoos because they're like the most common animals uh, to have. They are quite easy to take care of so it makes sense that in all of the zoos you will see a lot of ungulates from all over the world so uh, having one that is such an interesting ungulate actually because it lives in those wetlands in Africa near the Nile River so yeah really really cool addition. And also an Asian otter, which I think will be adorable because they are adorable in real life. Uh, so in the game, they will probably make them beautiful. Uh, it makes me a bit sad that we already built a small mammal house and there's no way of you know expanding expanding it in any way uh, because I would love to add those guys to the small mammal house uh, they will be just a perfect addition but I'm sure that we'll figure it out somehow uh, I already have some ideas of how I can implement the new animals to this zoo and speaking of that we will probably do a bit of a break uh, from the wildcat house uh, maybe i will be able to add one more cat before the dlc drops and then we'll just focus on the new animals uh, and then obviously i will go back and finish this house uh, because obviously i'm so excited about them that uh, i won't wait so long <laughs> for them to be added to the zoo i will for sure add them as i told you guys i already have some ideas uh in my head so as soon as the pack drops i will start to work on them and yeah cannot wait and tell me guys do you, are you excited about the new pack what animal is your favorite what animal are you most uh, you know excited for uh, what are, animal are you most curious for what, how it looks because we still didn't get uh, a screenshot of all the animals so i am really curious about the crane for example or the otter or also Maybe the caiman will, will convince me as soon as I will see it, but 
who knows so please tell me down in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys think about the new pack so while i was talking about the new dlc i obviously added tons of details to this habitat i added a lot of uh different kinds of foliage i added my favorite drain grass and some details to it uh, i mean some of the dry branches some of the tree trunks that i like to um like turn them upside down and then uh, use the roots as a small branches this is really cool i also added here uh the tree bark path uh this is also me trying to make this habitat look a bit different than the snow leopard's uh, habitat and i'm super happy that i decided to do so and the later stage i will actually add more of this path in the habitat and you can totally do it guys uh you can add paths inside of the habitats the animals don't mind it at all and this path uh, looks particularly like amazing in the habitats because it just looks like bark and in this case it looks a bit like uh, some of the needles have fallen from uh, the pine trees and are laying on the ground so uh, this adds a bit of a realism to our habitat. And obviously I added tons and tons of small rocks as I always try to do. And actually, let me tell you guys that the traversable area of the uh, cougar isn't the best, unfortunately. And you, in the cinematic shots at the end of this video, you will see this habitat with slightly less details because it wasn't usable at all for the cougars. I had to delete so many details because they weren't able to walk around it. Unfortunately, I love those guys. They're beautiful. They're beautifully done, but the traversable area of them is just not it. As I was happy about the snow leopards, they were able to go uh, and explore the whole habitat in here. It was a big issue, uh, so I had to delete all of the details, like the small rocks, uh, those uh, branches and stuff like that. But in the end, they are more or less able to use uh, most of this habitat, which I am happy about. But I preferred it before I had to uh, delete so many things. So, as I told you guys, I think that the cougar is just an outstanding animal in Planet Zoo. Uh, like, the model of it looks really cool. It has really cool, actually, uh, fur variations. They come in different colors. Uh, they are maybe not super visible, but you are obviously able to distinguish one animal from another, which is cool. And also, it has those beautiful mesmerizing eyes which I love the eyes as are the best thing about this animal uh, and yeah I love all the big cats in here in real life I am actually not a huge cat person I am actually allergic to cats so I try cats so I try to omit them I am totally a dog person but uh, I love seeing big, big cats in zoos uh, actually the cougar is not a big cat technically but I love seeing cats in zoos because for me they are super interesting and it's so like uh, for me a bit mind-blowing as a guy living in Europe where we don't have uh, such a big and dangerous animals living in here in the wild that somewhere you know <laughs> there there is a uh, cougars or snow leopards or I don't know lions living in the wild and I always imagine myself going Going through the forest alone and meeting one of those guys <laughs> yeah that would be uh, that would be so scary but yeah this guy is obviously beautiful and as I told you guys I was very very happy when it was added to the game in this outside part of the habitat I also added some of the birch branches which were made by Lider for his uh, fennec fox uh, sets from workshop if you guys want to use them I'll put the link down in the description they are amazing and for me it is so mind-blowing how he was able to do those bigger branches from those really tiny ones that we got with a euro pack or no this was the uh, North America pack when the beavers were added we also had those small branches and he did such an amazing job uh, with you know combining them into bigger ones and I use them here and I love them also I added some of the decal pieces to the path to make it look a bit more 
muddy, not so perfectly looking, and I also really, really like them. Of unfortunately, I had to delete some of them because uh, if they weren't aligning like perfectly with the floor, uh, which was hard to do bef because you know this the floor wasn't even, uh, then they weren't traversable. The animals saw it as an obstacle, so it was a really pity. Uh, but yeah, I had to do it because otherwise the cougar won't be able to use the habitat. As you can see, right now I am working on an indoor uh, part of the habitat. I also wanted to make it look different from the snow leopard one, uh, so I uh, decided to uh, make it look a bit like a forest so i added a lot of those dead trees in here you'll be able to see it in a minute i unfortunately also needed had to delete some of them because the uh, cougars weren't able to you know move around this indoor part but in the end some of them could stay so it still look really cool when it comes to the indoor part of this house, I now do only the habitats and like uh, viewing galleries and some floor and obviously walls and ceilings. Uh, and we will have, I think, the video at the end when all the cats will be added here. When I will add all the animals to this house, I will do the video when I will be, you know, decorating uh, the inside part of this house. And also I will give you guys a tour around it. So uh, that's why it can look a bit like empty and boring right now but I will definitely fill it in on the later stage. I will also do a backstage area for this uh, habitat but I didn't include that in the video. I will show you guys uh, the backstage stuff on the cinematics at the end of this video so definitely check them out if you want to see it. And now let me give you guys some fun facts about the cougar. So, the cougar is an adaptable feline species occurring in the most American habitat types. Due to its wide range, it has many names, including the puma, the mountain lion, the panther and the painter. The cougar is the second largest cat in the new world after the jaguar. It is very solitary and prefers uh, to be nocturnal, uh, although some daylight si sightings occur. Despite its size, the cougar is more closely related to smaller felines, including the domestic cat, than to the species of other cats in similar size, such as the jaguar. The cougar has the largest range of any wild animals in the Americas. Its range spans 110 degrees of latitude from the northern Yucatan territory in Canada to southern Andes. It can adapt to virtually every habitat type. It lives in all forest types, in lowland and mountainous deserts, as well as in open areas with little vegetation. The cougar is listed as least concern and is threatened by habitat loss, habitat fragmentation and depletion of its prey base due to poaching, but also is threatened by heavy traffic which causes frequent fatal accidents involving cougars. Hunting for the cougar is prohibited almost in all the areas where it lives, but the Texas is the only US state with a viable cougar population that is not protected. In Texas, the cougar is considered nuisance wildlife and any person holding a, a hunting or trapping permit can kill a cougar regardless of the season, number killed, sex or age of the animal, which is super super sad and I don't get that. So, if you are from Texas, please don't go and don't hunt for those beautiful animals. So, as you can see, the indoor part of this habitat is almost done and the video is also almost over. And I wanted to tell you guys one more thing. I wanted to remind you to follow me also on other social media. I have an Instagram, I have Facebook and I have also Twitter, where I share a lot of news about Planet Zoo and also uh, photos of the creations that we do here on the channel. So, if you would like to see it, definitely go and give me a follow and you won't miss a thing. All the links to my social media are down below in the description. Recently I posted a lot of photos of the reptile house that we did for the Desert Adventure Park and you guys loved it. So thank you for the likes, for the comments. This really means a world to me because it was a lot of work to build this one. So I am really, really happy that you guys appreciate that. Okay guys, this is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed our little cougar habitat. I hope you are excited for the next cat that will 
will add to this zoo very soon and this one will be also really really cool one so don't miss the new video that will be out probably next week okay guys thank you so much for watching the video the fact that so many of you are watching my videos recently is so heartwarming for me so thank you for that and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. That would mean a world to me that will help uh, to grow my little channel. And also uh, you will see all of my new videos in your feed. Uh, if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, uh, ring the bell down, down below. Uh, give it this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also comment down below if you enjoyed the video, if you liked our new habitat for the Elm Hill City Zoo and also what is your favorite animal from the new pack that has just been announced. Okay guys, thank you so 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 much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!